All right, everybody, we're back. Um, let's talk about the PNPT. So if you watched my video on my plan for the OSCP, I'll link it up above, um, you'll know that I'm going to take the PNPT certification course on the way to getting the OSCP as basically part of my prep. Um, if you look here, you'll see the same three phase plan that I set out in that video. Today, we're going to talk a ton about phase one. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what the BNPT is, um, all about the certification, Heath and his company, and my plan for kind of conquering that. So let's kind of get into it by introducing what the PNPT is. So PNPT right here. Sorry, I was looking up a rocket for a, um, I guess that kind of looked weird. Um, I was looking up a rocket for a uh, thumbnail. So that's what that was. Um, so the PNPT, or the Practical Network Penetration Tester Certification, um, is a one-of-a-kind ethical hacking certification exam that assesses a student's ability to perform a network penetration test at a professional level. So I'll include all of the links to Heath's site um, and TCM security and all of that in general. Um, so I'll include all of that, obviously. Um, so it goes into about the exam. The PNPT certification exam is a one-of-a-kind ethical hacking certification exam that assesses a student's ability to perform an external and internal penetration test at a professional level. Students will have five full days to complete the assessment and an additional two days to write a professional report. Um, so right off the bat, kind of initial uh, thoughts about this. One, awesome that it's a five-day exam. One of the things that I hated the most about the OSCP is you get 24 hours from the point that you start the exam till the end to finish the exam, and then you get another 24 hours to write the report. That leads to cramming. That leads to staying up all night. That leads to writing a shitty report because you stayed up all night. Um, it's just not a great way to run the exam. I believe they may have changed that since the last time I took the OSCP. Um, I'll have to look into that a little bit. But Heath and TCM Security have always done the PNPT this way, and I, I love that. Um, one of the other new things, um, they're adding an OSINT. Um, or they, they've always had OSINT. Um, I don't know that that was a huge part of the OCP the last time I took it. It's heavy um, Active Directory focused, which is good. Apparently that's super common across networks that you'd be dealing with as a penetration tester. Um, you have to write a report and also give a live 15 minute report debrief in front of the assessors. Um, so that's awesome. I think that's a great idea. One of the things that I think consultants, penetration testers, developers, engineers, people in general are bad at is giving oral exams because everything is kind of written now. Um, so it goes into the pricing. Um, I'm not going to call this cheap because for a lot of people this is still expensive, but if you compare this to the OSCP, it is incredibly affordable, which I love. That is just awesome. And it's kind of what Heath has always been about. So, you know, huge props to him. Um, by the way, since I've now mentioned him a couple of times and I'm showing his site and all of that, I will be 100% straightforward in saying he is not a sponsor. We are not affiliated at all. I've talked to him a handful of times on Twitter. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, this isn't a sponsorship thing. I just think that he does a great job and his you know company does a great job in offering affordable security certifications for people who can't afford like the $1,500 for the OSCP, I think it is. Um, obviously... Me saying that I'm going to eventually take that exam. It is very expensive. I've taken it twice, but you know, again, I think Keith is awesome because he's making it much more approachable. Um, he also gives out like free tickets and you know, like discounts all the time, which is awesome. Like just really cool. Um, but yeah, so that is what the PNPT is. Now let's go into my plan on conquering it. It's actually fairly simple. Um, so the breakdown of the coursework before the exam, um, there's an ethical hacking course, which basically is like introduction material. I think it's active directory stuff and some kind of like intro material to how to like, you know, do penetration testing. They then have a course that is entirely on OSINT and then they have an external penetration testing course, which I imagine is going to be mainly like web app pen testing and like getting initial foothold kind of stuff. Um, whereas the first one is probably more focused on internal. Um, then you take the exam. Like I said, um, you take a five-day lab, um, you get two days for a write-up, and you have an oral presentation to do, um, which again, I think is super rad. So my plans on conquering it. Um, I'm going to take all of the coursework. 
I am not going to rip off um, Heath by like basically rehashing everything in his classes and putting it up on YouTube. That would be shitty, almost definitely illegal, and again, shitty. So I'm not going to do that. But I am going to talk about lessons learned, find some hack the boxes that are similar to the material that I learned in Heath's course and kind of walk through it. Um, and in general, just add external information to kind of explain what Heath's course is all about here. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm not going to rip him off because that's, that's silly. I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I am benefiting massively from his education and I, I'm not going to just, you know, essentially post his coursework for free. But I am going to kind of give like an overview of how the course is, different things that you'll learn. And my hope is that it will actually push more people towards taking Heath's courses. Um, again, he's awesome and the kind of mission that he's got to make this kind of stuff more accessible is really rad. Um, so basically the whole thing is going to be like taking the coursework and finding different public resources that goes a little bit like that goes in depth on the stuff that is covered within um, Heath's coursework. And I'll do videos, write ups, stuff like that um, for, uh, you know, those of you who are kind of going to be following along this journey. Um, the PNPT looks awesome. And I do want to say I am obviously talking about all of this in the context of taking the OSCP. I don't view the PNPT as necessarily lesser than the OSCP. Um, Again, I, I, I don't have to keep repeating this, but Heath's stuff is awesome. His material is great. And the PNPT looks like an awesome alternative to the OSCP for those of you who like can't necessarily afford it um, or don't have an employer who will pay for it for you. Um, so that's, that's kind of my like approach here. I'm not going to treat the PNPT as a lesser um, certification. I will say that the OSCP is much more widely recognized than the PNPT, and that's only because Heath's course in all of that is newer. Um, he's got a smaller company than Offsec. That's nothing against him. That's just, you know, kind of how it is. Um, so I don't want this to kind of make it look like the PNPT is a lesser certification. It's not. It seems like an awesome cert, um, but it is part of my roadmap to actually getting the OSCP. And I think Heath has mentioned before that that's, that's, not, a, that's not a bad approach. Um, so I hope that you join me on this journey. I hope that it goes well. And, um, if you're also planning on taking the PNBT exam, leave a comment below, talk to me about like your plans and the different things that you've learned if you've already taken it. Um, but yeah, take it easy. Peace.